Here is question 2b, part 2. So I've got the little table above. This is the table that we put together previously, looking at whether apples are diseased or not, and whether they're of the jazz or beauty variety. So now let's have a look at our question. So we're talking about it's claimed that as, as apples are more likely to be diseased, depending on their variety, than whether they'd been conventionally or organically grown. And so we need to have some calculations um, to support this. Okay, so if we go back to um, our, our previous answer, so back in A part 4, what we had found there was that the relative risk for apples that are conventionally grown um, compared uh, with their diseased compared to those that are grown organically, so that was looking at the probability of diseased apple given that it was um, conventionally grown over the probability of a diseased apple given it was organically grown and that relative risk was 1.84 okay so that's a piece of information that we got earlier from a part 4 so now we want to because that's what they one of the things that they're referring to there is that conventional versus organic now we've got to look and do a new calculation for the other part of this claim. So we can't compare it until we've got the other calculation, the other relative risk. Because again, they're using that words more likely. And that, if, I rem if, you, if you remember from my previous video, that as soon as you see more likely, you need to think relative risk. Okay. So in this particular case, they want us to find the relative risk and we know that we've got two conditional probabilities, one divided by the other. Okay, and we've just got to now work out what the conditional probabilities are. Now this one's talking about that apples are more likely to be diseased depending on their variety. So we've got two different varieties. We've got our jazz and we've got our beauty. Okay, now I'm going to, if I look at my jazz and my beauty varieties, that's the two things that I want to compare. So I want to compare the beauty variety, one subgroup is my beauty variety, with the other subgroup being the jazz variety. And I want to look at what's the probability of a diseased, getting a diseased apple, knowing that I've got a beauty apple, and what's the probability of a diseased apple, knowing I have a jazz apple. So that's the probability I want to find. So let me just jump over the page because I, um, I want to leave that one so I can come back to it. So we've got our, that's what we want to find, probability of disease given beauty over the probability of disease given jazz. So I want to look at my beauty apples. So I'm looking at these beauty apples here. And from the beauty apples, I've got 128 of them that are diseased out of the 310. So that's my top probability there, is 128 out of the 310 beauty apples. Then I'm going to look at my jazz apples, and say so right from the jazz apples there, I've got 52 of those jazz apples that are diseased out of the 890. So that's going to be um, the probability, the conditional probability underneath is 52 out of the 890. When I calculate that, I'm going to get an answer of 7.066. Okay, so let me just write that back down here, 7.066. Okay, what, so tell me what it is that we've just found. Well, we've found that if I have a beauty apple, it is seven times more likely to be diseased than if I have a jazz apple. Okay, so seven times more likely. Compare that to the previous relative risk that we had. And so that previous relative risk was referring to whether or not, how it was grown, whether it was grown conventionally versus organically. And so the conventional growing methods meant that an apple grown conventionally was 1.8 times 
more likely to be diseased compared with the organically grown ones. So that 1.84 is actually a much smaller number than the 7.06 that we found with the variety. So that, just comparing those numbers, that tells me the relative risk for the varieties is much larger than the relative risk for the growing method. And that's what I want to write in as my conclusion, because they said, um, can the claim be supported? Okay, and that's what we want to be able to say. So we first of all interpret what we've just found with this relative risk of seven. Um, okay, so that means that oh, um, beauty apples are seven times more likely to be um, diseased than jazz apples. Okay, so that's the first one, is just actually interpreting that value of seven. And now I don't need to compare it um, with the previous one. And so I can say, therefore, my three little dots means therefore, um, variety is more, um, now how did they word it? It's claimed that apples are more likely to be diseased depending on their variety. So variety is, oh that's a terrible way to write it. Let's use the wording that I've had before. Apples are more likely to be diseased, to be diseased, um, based on variety. Okay.